And so when we got home, we turned on the news and I mean, we were stunned. Many lawmakers were in their home district Saturday when they heard the news that Donald Trump had been shot at a rally in Pennsylvania. So I was out in the community meeting with constituents, doing our parades, and hearing that news was pretty shocking. What followed was a bipartisan response. Over the weekend, all four of the state's legislative leaders from both parties and both houses condemned the violence in the strongest of terms. Governor Tim Walz issued his own statement saying that violence has no place in the country's political discourse. But it was a caucus formed specifically to combat division in St. Paul that stepped up on Monday. The Civility Caucus is made up of uh, Republicans and Democrats in both the House and the Senate here in Minnesota, and our focus is bringing colleagues and members of the legislature together. The four chairs of the Civility Caucus came together Monday to call for a calmer political scene across the board. With heightened political rhetoric and a lot of the things that are going on in our world these days, we have to figure out how to cool down the temperature. All four chairs said the act, quote, should be condemned by all who support democracy and continued calls for de-escalation on all fronts. We all have our party affiliations and we all have strong views about the best direction for the state and the country, but we can have those policy discussions um, without you know, ad hominem attacks. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham.